What is up guys, welcome to a brand new video. So a bit different, my face is on the screen as you guys can see, but I wanted to bring you uh, Galio on the PB and I'm not gonna play a full gameplay because a lot of other people are gonna do that anyway. So if you wanna see that, go and check out Red Mercy or Profresco or whatever. Uh, those guys normally do gameplays very quickly, but basically I'm gonna give you a short version of what his abilities actually do with the numbers. Like early today, we looked at a Galio breakdown, just kind of the leaked trailer. So we were guessing on what everything did. We didn't actually have the numbers. We didn't really know what the champion did. So basically I'm gonna go through all of his abilities. I'm actually gonna look at what they do uh, properly for each of them. But the first thing is this recall. This is the Gatekeeper Galio legendary uh, skin recall look how cool that recall is that is so good it actually makes me kind of happy that i uh bought this skin all that time ago so we're gonna level up to 18 very quickly this is in the practice mode on the uh pve naturally 2200 health from no runes maestries uh and stuff that's actually a lot of base health so that's pretty cool but anyway so go for his passive first of all every eight seconds the next basic attack deals uh, magic damage in an area so that's pretty ridiculous damage wise right now this obviously scales with levels but 160 plus 120 so that's going to be a hundred percent of my ad uh, and also um a that looks like a, a an ap ratio or an armor ratio that is ex really strange but also the uh the cooldown is reduced by four seconds when galio spell hits a champion so if you hit two uh two spells on, on someone you're going to be getting that passive back up we can actually put a target dummy down and we can just see how it works if i auto attack someone see how it does the little like area damage i get with it is area damage so if i put another one just like there for example and if i wait and then i hit it it's gonna hit both of them right now that's actually a lot of damage for level 18 if we what we can do actually is we can reset the entire game uh, if we go down here and we can go back and then see a level one uh, you do 10 plus 59. So it's still 100% of your AD at level 1. So you run 80 runes on this guy. And all of a sudden you're going to be doing a ton of damage really early on. And also one of the things to remember with this. Is that this is going to be really good for pushing a wave. Right? Like you have your Q already. But you have also your passive now. Which is going to do AOE damage onto a minion. So anyway. We have that now with our passive. We have our Q. I'm actually going to level up back to 18 now. Because honestly the only thing that's going to affect is the passive. Right? Uh, apart from ratios and stuff. So your Q is going to deal 60 damage at rank 1. And it's this Wind Blast thing, right? So it has these two kind of on the side. And then they culminate in the middle here. And that thing in the middle, one of the reasons I actually wanted to make this video is because I looked at this. It's 9% of an enemy's maximum health as magic damage over that one and a half seconds. So they deal on their own 200 magic damage, right? And then in the middle, it does 90 plus 9% of their maximum health now if you're against a tank for example right like every thousand health they have you're doing 90 damage they have a 5k health tank like a massive uh tank you're going to be doing an absolute ton of damage you mean like 450 damage it's, it's ridiculous so like nine percent is, is crazy i have no idea why they're giving him so much max percentage health damage because if you build full tank on this guy as you'll see it's really good right so when we look at our w after not taking damage for 12 seconds, you gain a shield, right? So it's kind of like a Malphite shield. For example, like right now, rank 1, it's 180 damage, which is actually a lot of damage if you're level 1. Rank, uh, rank up to 5, it's uh, still going to be there, but we're going to be gaining 40% damage reduction at rank 5. This is ridiculous. You slow yourself like this. You're going to slow, and then uh, you're going to be fearing everybody around you, right? But actually, the 40% damage reduction is the thing we care about. We don't really care about the rest of it, honestly. So that is an armor, and it's a magic resist. That is what the purple thing is here. The the 32, why am I pointing the screen? You can't see that, is going to be uh, magic resist. So it's, it scales with AD and magic resist, your passive. Your W here, 40%. If we just, for example, if I give myself some gold here, and we get a... Let's just get a Sunfire, right? That's a pretty core cool item on any kind of tank. And that's only an extra 50 armor. Uh, we get an extra 2% off of that. So it doesn't sound like a ton. But let's just say, for example, we get a very standard build of this, this. What else would we... would maybe get one extra armor item, right? If we got a Thorn or something, for example. Very super late game. I cannot be bothered to look through. So we're just going to pick this. So that's probably the three armor items we'd have in a game. And all of a sudden, we're going to get 50% damage reduction. And this has a 12 second cooldown, right? I mean, the thing is, uh, so here, you get the damage reduction anyway, just while you're charging that thing. But when you hit something afterwards, you get another 4 seconds. I have it on auto refresh, so you're not going to understand there. But if you see this, I don't even have to take 
any I don't have to fear anybody. Like it does fear, right? It taunts them. Well, sorry, it doesn't fear, it taunts them. But the damage reduction is granted anyway. So if I'm just walking along, I'm getting 50% damage reduction. No magic resist, by the way. We haven't got to that part yet. And then I'm getting four seconds of 50% damage reduction afterwards as well. What in the world? When is that a good thing if you're building full tank on somebody? Why why would you have 50% damage reduction for like six seconds? I just don't understand that at all. Uh, and then we can see, or it can't say 650 magic shield on top of this, so it does actually change. Um, and I mean, the, the taunt duration is one half seconds. It's nice, but 50% <laughs> damage reduction. If I take this off, by the way, auto refresh cooldowns and just have it, you can see that I have that there, right? That's already, I've got four seconds off of this. And so now I have uh, like, it's going to have eight seconds where I'm not having any damage reduction there, for example. Uh, like, because if that makes sense, because there's four seconds, the timer resets after the shield. So it's going to be four seconds of 50% and then eight seconds of not. But it's only eight seconds downtime for like six seconds uptime. That seems to be absolutely ridiculous to me. But anyway, let's go on to our E. So 100 damage rank one is actually really good. It knocks him into the air for 0 0.75 seconds. It's basically a Sejuani... Um, Ulti uh, e, sorry, like her charge, but it doesn't go over walls. So if I try and go over walls, for example, here, it's not going to work. It's just going to hit the wall, and that's it. I'm just going to face punt the wall. Actually kind of funny, but yeah, it, it will go forward like this. You go back a little bit, and then you shoot forward, right? Which is pretty cool, and it will knock them up, which is nice, but um, it, it doesn't go over a wall, which is a really big thing. One thing that does go over a wall, though, is your ultimate. So it's a bit different because it only works on your... Um, allies. Now I'm going to teleport to top lane to show you exactly what it looks like. Rank 1, that, if you're looking at the minimap right now, this is the range of your ultimate, right? Rank 1. Um, actually pretty big. One thing that it does do though, is it grants 30%, uh, well it grants 20% plus your armor and magic resist. We'll get onto magic resist the second one I base, but 30% right now, 20% base, damage reduction percentage to that ally that you click on. So it's kind of like a Shenol, except you fly in, it's not global, but you give the enemy, uh, the ally, sorry, damage reduction. And then when you land, everybody takes damage and that also knocks into the air for 0 0.75 seconds. Now, if I do this again, uh, it's going to get a little bit bigger. You can see I'm almost into mid lane now already. And also that's 30%. And now if I get into this, uh, that is pretty much, it's not a, t a massive increase. I will admit that, but I mean, uh, how far do we have to go down now to get to mid lane? About here. So that's not that far, right? Like, that's really not that bad. Walking this far down to get to our mid laner. Obviously, that's um, level 16, so maybe not the best example. Maybe I can move to uh, over in the mid lane to see how far away you'd have to be. But, I mean, I could get to their turret from my second turret. That's a long thing, uh, a long distance. And it's it's 40% base at level right, rank 3. So that's going to be 50% with, um, with this armor. Three armor items, which I think is pretty... Standard and if I go where's the teleport? Oh my god, I'm dumb If I go back and just get some more magic resist for example, like a typical build normally looks something like This and then a guardian angel, right? Like that's kind of Full tank I'd say that's probably about where we're gonna be um, And right now if that's actually how we had we have 60% uh, damage reduction <laughs> On his W and 60% damage reduction to an ally that he jumps to um that is absolutely ridiculous this is right now like uh, you you hold this for like a couple of seconds and then you have four seconds of 60 percent damage reduction and then you have to wait eight seconds or probably seven seconds with a bit of cooldown reduction if i in my opinion i would run some cooldown reduction blues or something like that and i'd be able to get that as well so you'd have your w up time even more but you're going to be running around the entire time with this damage reduction. I know I keep saying it, but it's ridiculous. You have the percentage damage on this. You don't really even need to build damage. I mean, sure, you could do, right? You could build AP and you could uh, be increasing all of this, like your Q and your E damage. So you're, you can have some fun with that. But even this, like your 160 damage plus 100, uh, 120 from the AD, because it's 100% ratio, which is crazy. And it looks like it's probably like a 40 to 45% magic resist as well. 
um, like scaling onto the passive auto damage, which is going to be as well, if you dive into a fight, right? Remember two abilities and you have that passive back up again. So you can actually output a ton of damage while having 60% damage reduction. That's kind of what I wanted to, to, to say. By the way, I can't actually use my ultimate and show you. Obviously you've seen it in game. If you haven't, I'll link you the first thing so you can actually see what it looks like uh, in the description. But um, yeah, you've kind of seen this. We'll go through the AP ratios really quickly just to show you guys what it would look like. Uh, if you did want to decide to build uh, AP. But I think, honestly, he is designed to be a, a full tank champion. But I can't show you it because it's only on an allied champion. And in this mode, this game mode, you're not able to um, you're not able to have allied champions, which is kind of crappy. But let's just go for a very full damage. This is like best case scenario. You probably would never, ever build this kind of thing onto a Galio. But even so, if you build full damage right as a mid laner... With your W active, you're still going to have 47% damage reduction. If somebody dives onto you, imagine that, like you're at the back of the fight, right? And somebody dives onto you to try and kill you. You're going to press your W. You're going to fear, run away. You're going to fear everybody around, uh, not fear, sorry. You're going to taunt everybody around you. So it's not ideal, but at least they're not attacking you for one and a half seconds. And you're going to have uh, this massive damage reduction, which means you're not really going to die. Even have 450 magic damage shield right now. Um, and... I mean, you're really tanky, but I have full damage right now. Uh, with my passive, sorry, not my passive, my Q, 365. There's like a 60% AP ratio. So my Q now is doing 550 damage on each of the talons on, on the side. And it's also doing uh, 90 plus 270. Mass, please, I did economics at university. 360 plus 9% of their ratio. So this is probably doing like... To a tank, this would be doing like 700 damage right now. Obviously, I don't have a void stuff, but yes, point still stands. And your E would be a 425. That's ridiculous. So you charge someone and you're doing like 700 damage. So I could do this. I could auto attack, right? And then I could Q directly on top of me like this. And with that combo, I'd be doing about 1200 to 1300 damage. Plus, I have my damage reduction and I have a taunt afterwards to get back out as well. So. I mean, you have a bit of poke with your Q. You can spam this over and over, obviously. Um, and charge a lot and stuff. The charge is... I mean, you'd probably use it more defensively, I guess. But you could run like an AP Bruiser kind of version of this. And you you do a lot of damage. Like, having 60% plus AP ratios on your stuff is, is absolutely ridiculous. And obviously, Abyssal is going to be increasing your passive damage as well. With this, it adds to your burst combo. So... Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little uh, look into it. You don't have to watch a full game, but you have an exact breakdown of the abilities now. Uh, let me know if you want me to do this for future champions or not. It's a very rough start to the brand new champion and hopefully it gives you a much better idea of what we're going to be seeing with him and what cool ideas you could do with him. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, I'll catch you in... Actually, I won't leave you with the robots because I'm not going to edit this together, but I will leave you with the robots tomorrow. But for now, I'll see you guys tomorrow.